Здравствуйте! My name is Slavsky and welcome back to my art channel. Today I will show you how I created the stained glass Papa Emeritus 3 painting on wood. I hope you enjoy. I found the band Ghost a few years ago at a time where I felt like no more new music can or will be any good. From the first time I heard Tobias Forge's voice, along with his Lovecraftian themed lyrics, I was sold. I can see through the stars From that moment on, I went on to listen to them religiously. If you're not familiar with Ghost, you most likely have seen what they are some satanic metalcore band based on their look. But you can be further from the truth. I mean, yes, they're satanic, but they're more of a 1970s metal band. Hypothetically speaking, if Satan was trying to make you live a life of sin, he wouldn't come in the form of evil, but rather would serenade you in the guise of an angel. This is exactly what Ghost is bringing to the table. Yes, Ghost uses satanic themes throughout their body of work, but what most critics don't realize, that it's all theatrical. It almost feels like the longest running SNL skit. I mean, hell, do you really think a truly satanic band would use a kazoo? Yeah, I don't think so. Similar to Ghost's work, my favorite paintings to work on are the ones that bring the dark and macabre to the forefront, either through the color palette or subject matter, without being overly blatant about it. The journey of planning and designing a piece is just as important and fun to me as actually painting it. For many, it only takes an instant to look at a painting and judge it without considering the amount of effort it took to get to the end product. This is why I wanted to show you how I created this piece. As you saw, I used acrylic paint for the base layers, followed by outlining them with a Pigma Micron brush tip pen. To make the base colors look like separate pieces of stained glass, I used a Prismacolor Mocha Light Marker. Since it's translucent, I was able to darken different sections without changing the base color. Anyway, before I started working on this painting, I knew I wanted to create a stained glass look similar to the backdrops they used during the tour. So I went online and researched common stained glass patterns and created my own. I have to say it was a great experience doing the stained glass look and I will definitely be using it in the future. So after I made sure the painting is completely dry, I moved on to the resining process. I have to say, it's absolutely so satisfying to finally pour the resin since the colors become more vibrant and it gives it a nice, sleek glass look. After pouring the resin, I used a torch lighter to get rid of any bubbles for a flawless finish. So here's the finished product. I want to thank you all for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And remember, never stop creating. Dosvidanya, and I'll see you next time.